Hello everyone. Back in here. So, <clears throat> Project Zomboid was on sale on Steam. Now, I've tried playing it a couple of times and I've refunded it because I couldn't really figure out exactly what the hell um, I'm doing to play it, right? I kept just straight up dying. And I was like, shit. I don't think I'm get anywhere on this. So I would refund it. And I think I bought it twice before, tried it, and then quit again. This time, I really want to dedicate some time to actually figuring it out and learning it, right? I see all of these videos on Zomboid and people playing it. And it looks so great. It looks like one of the best zombie games out there, right? And so it was on sale again. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I make this a, a video series? Me figuring out Project Zomboid and messing around with it, right? So that's what we're here to do. It's unmodded. Some people, I don't know. I haven't looked up anything about whether people recommend I play it modded with certain mods or if I just play it fresh at first. Um, I always like to play a game fresh without mods at first to uh, kind of get a baseline for it. Especially with games like uh, The Elder Scrolls or Fallout and stuff like that. I like to play the base game then add mods to change it up, right? So I'm gonna play the tutorial first since I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And we'll see how it goes. Soon you'll die horribly. No one will mourn you, and you will swiftly be forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. First things first, you can zoom with the mouse wheel, or the plus minus keys. We'll be using the mouse wheel, of course. Um, let's get a bird's eye view of the place. You're about to die, miserable and alone. Zoom out. Okay, now zoom back in again. You're great at this. Let's have a look at your character. Click the flashing heart on the left. Scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all listed for your convenience. There's also, a, uh, it's also here that you can bandage and treat your wounds. Okay. Do you know another good panel? Yes, the skills panel. Click the skills panel, please. Welcome. Uh, also, it really would be such a shame to lose you. The panel shows your points in various different survival skills, of course. Uh, In-game activities build up skill points that level up each discipline. Learning speeds will increase by reading books and watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become dead, uh, cold, sludge. But in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? Time to take off those training wheels, lady. Choose the character panel by clicking of the cross. Or close the character panel by closing the cross. And we'll start surviving. I'm assuming I could also just hit C to bring it up, right? Oh, that's crouching. No, never mind. Okay. It's looking at stuff. Woo. Hold down the right mouse button uh, <coughs> and move the mouse. You can turn to face any angle. Okay. You can only see in the direction you're facing. Swift and unexpected death can come from behind. Whether on a dead host or your fellow man. Get the blood pumping before it can yields and rots. Move around with WASD. Why not walk into the adjacent room? Okay. Now let's strafe. Hold the right mouse button down while walking and walking. Go ahead and strafe around, of course. Oh. Dead person alert. You're going to want to do some looting if you want to survive an attack. Head back to the marked counter in the kitchen and we'll learn to steal. That's not the door. There we go. Starvation can be delayed by looting food from homes of the most recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel. A dead mouse. 
Let's double click it. Click up. Okay. Double click that as well. All right. Tools modifiers on the right. Yes. Looks like you got a rumbly tumbly. Rumbly tumbly. Uh, anyway, time to eat. Right click the dead mouse in your inventory to see the interaction options. And eat the dead mouse. Just eat all of it. I like how it added blood spatter to my shirt there. Very neat. That's better, apart from the nausea. Now, to learn to moderate, uh, to learn what each Moodle means, move your cursor over them. Squeezy. And can do with a bite to eat. Right. Oh, hey, better fill up your bottle before the water supply is cut off. Right clicking items in the world will bring up an interface. Do that to fill the bottle. You automatically drink water that's carried in your main inventory. Let's see what's in the other cupboards. Open up that awesome loot panel. You can look in your back containers. Go with each thing in loot. Um, each container within reach can be opened with a left click on the flashing container icons. For these, conveniently enough, there's a weapon hidden for you nearby. Loot them. A frying pan. Right clicking on the fire frying pan, you can equip the primary so you can use it on the dead folks. I wasn't done looting, my friend. I didn't look at that. Nothing there. Great. Oh my, is it getting hot in here? Let's pop open a window, get some fresh air so the lungs are still inflated. Oops, wrong. Here. I'll uh, press E to interact with objects in front of me. And most notably the window. Alright, climb out. Hold E to climb through the window. Gotcha. Hold rice mouth button will ready your weapon. I did not read all that. My instinct is to do something first and then figure it out later. <laughs> Damn it. Hold the right mouse button, use WASD to strafe and move to the fitted hat woman. Click the left near left mouse button when you're ready. Remember, hold the right mouse button to ready the frying pan, left click to swing. You also press space to shove her, but right now we're going for the head. As much a cursor is vital to this. Line yourself up with the right mouse button. Use the circle, your head, and the left mouse button to do that. Cool. Flying pan broke. Your mother's, uh, your, oh, that was my mother, apparently. Your mother's skull was thick. Let's borrow a hunting knife we planted in her back earlier. Just an FYI before we get further into this. Uh, the tutorial is probably going to be a lot of bland to be reading it. So if you don't want to see the tutorial, just skip ahead a bit. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take the hunting knife. We're gonna equip it as primary. You hear that? There's more. Just be on the gate. Or click it with left mouse button when you're close. So we can just go up here and click that. Okay. Let's see. Vegetative Shambler in the Vegetable Garden, but he's got enough brain function to see you. If you sneak, you'll make less noise, and you'll be less visible. Let's see to crouch, and then move. Well, it's like you're invisible now. I mean, you've maxed out your skills here, but still impressive. If you sneak close to a wall, fence or vehicle, you'll crouch and reach a little lower even more. Sneak around the corner, and open the gate. Strafe close behind him with your knife. Your arm will raise, showing you're ready for a stealth strike. Hold the right mouth button and directly behind him. Is it is it raised? It didn't look like I thought I was expecting them to raise it up like above their head or something. But uh all right, we're taking the backpack and put on the back. Gotcha. Okay. Find the flashing large backpack icon to the side of the inventory panel. Right click the shotgun to show the interaction options. Equip in both hands. Oh. The window in Dad's shed just broke right on time. Vault the fence and let's check it out. Running at the fence will make you jump over it automatically. Left shift to run. 
Let's see. Dad was a prepper, but he didn't prepare for you, did he? Let's take his gear, ignore the glass shards, climb through the broken window by holding E. Oh no, your hands are bleeding. Broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? Saw that coming. Open the health panel by pressing H or clicking the thing. Next, right click the red text and apply a bandage. Okay. Let's check outside in case there's more flesh automatons. Move to the curtain window. Right click, right click to interact. Or hold left shift and left click the curtain. That's a couple of boys right there. Three of you count your sister on the floor there. Better get some improved protection from their nails and teeth. Once you're ready, head through the door, which is right there. Okay. We're going to. So stupid. Um. You're not gonna fucking believe this. I've already forgotten what opens up the inventory. Okay, left click. <laughs> um. Those are shorts. We probably want pants. Let's get a uh, lumberjack shirt. Why not? Leather jacket, of course. Let's get a bandana. Military boots. There we go. Okay. What do I have in my inventory here? Did it put the bandana on like I wanted it? I don't think it did. And I put it on my face. There we go. All right, I think we're ready. Let's go kick their butts. Ready, head through the door. No, no door. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Remember, you can crouch and sneak around. Move towards the fence. Press E to climb over the fence. If somehow did not make noise and draw them to me, aim at the dude and press left fire. Oh, you're aiming at me. That works. Press E to climb over the wired fence and escape. But what if I check the loot first? Which I guess doesn't matter since this is just a tutorial and I'm gonna die anyway. Alright. You know how to one, let's sprint towards the outhouse, apparently. Wait. Oh, left alt to toggle the sprint. Okay. If you ever get bitten, uh, or fear one is imminent, press Q and you'll swallow the antidote. All hope is gone, there's no antidote. Have fun. That's messed up. Okay, so now, how do I close this? Not like that! Alright, so I think I understand. Can you actually survive this? Or is there like a an area that you like? Are stuck in? Like, could I just run forever? It looks like the answer is. Maybe? I could probably lose the zombies in the trees from what I've seen of. Oh, nope, there's a fence around here. Yeah. Time to die! Then we can actually start playing a uh, game here. So let's go back out. Do I actually have any, like, ammunition? Oh, hey there, buddy. They didn't teach me how to reload weapons, though. Oh no! I tripped! Oh no! However, will I. Oh god! Yeah, as soon as I got out of that clear, boom. If you're the help of the main game, press F1 to open the survival guide. Turn the main menu and then survive the Nox event for real. Okay. I feel like, for whatever reason, when I had played previously, I never made it past the tutorial. Which, 
Yeah, that's such a game journalist thing, isn't it? Damn. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, go solo. <clears throat> What's all this? Let's see. Still focused, short lifespan, combat's best avoided. Powerful combat, longer lifespan. A challenging playstyle based on Project Zomboy's previous survival mode. Builder, construction. So. Does this? I mean, it kind of tells me what it does here, but. I'm guessing I'd want to do custom sandbox, right? Because I just want to do whatever I feel like doing. And what are these? I guess this is just the starting scenario for me. Like, what, what if I go back and hit solo again? Do that. And I just hit next without selecting one of those? Yeah. I guess I can do that. And we can choose the place here. I said something about... Hmm... Yeah, I don't have any mods, I'm just looking there. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll hit next. Save name. My first... Apocalypse. Smile, there we go. Alright, so... I honestly do not know much about any of these locations. Um, this one looks like, uh, sort of a more residential area. This one has some residential and, um, other stuff going on here. There's also apparently a river right there. Um, where's Stanley Rose? Where was Pleasant? This seems like a fancy place, no? Or a prison. And there's this place, which is a town, little town. I don't know if it really matters since we're just starting out here. Um, I like the idea of having like one side is just a river. That way, there is nothing that's going to come from that side. Okay, so I actually can't hit next. Is that because of the smiley face there? No, it's not. Okay. It's because I didn't select a scenario, was it? Or a challenge, I guess. Oh, no, that overwrites that. So, hitting custom sandbox. Oh, do I have to have... Like, I'm guessing I can't have spaces, that's the thing. Yep, that's the thing. Could I do that? No, okay. We'll do that then. Alright, so we're doing a custom sandbox. Just sort of, uh, doing whatever we want here. I think we're going to... I'm a distribution. Urban focus. Time... Day length will be an hour. Starting month July. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave all this default for the most part. Zero to thirty days. Instant. So it sounds like these, like the first options, are it could even if you select zero to five years, it could shut off in the next like two days, right? And then if you wanted to like make sure you had a minimum amount of time you can do those. But we're gonna leave it as the default. Um rotten food removal. Number of in-game days before rotten foods removed from the map. I think one means it's never removed. Okay. Why don't we set this at like a week? 
who's never getting removed, is uh, kind of doesn't make sense in reality, right? Since it would, you know, decompose over time. We'll just set it for seven. Um, okay. We'll just leave loot to not respawn, because we're probably not going to end up surviving too long. Um, fire spread is on, yada, yada, nature... Sadistic AI Director. I'm gonna leave that stuff here. Loot Rarity. Character. I think I'm just gonna leave everything else kind of as it is. And, uh... We'll just go next. So... This... is interesting. This is where you can choose your skills and stuff like that. I've seen people do it a lot while watching streams or videos of it. There's a lot of different things you can choose from. I'm kind of tempted to just spend points and not worry too much about reading and min-maxing things. So, what do we got for occupations, though? That could help us narrow stuff down. Do they have a... Like... Think about matching it as close to me as we can for now. So of all of this stuff, it would probably be an electrician or an engineer, since I do IT work, right? I would say we're going to go with engineer, which gives us negative four traits, huh? Oh, so if I do select that. Well, actually, currently I'm unemployed, so technically we'd be doing this. Um, so let's choose what else we want to have here. Better vision at night could be useful, but it seems like a waste. Um, transfers inventory items more quickly. Let's go ahead and add that. That way we're spending less time looting. Uh, I don't think we're going to spend much time reading books quite yet. That's just uh, not what we're going to do. Needing less sleep would also be very useful. So let's do that. I'm not going to do much fishing. Iron gut could be useful. What else do we have down here? Where's the, where's the cutoff for stuff? So, slower runner, plus one to sprinting. A slower rate of zombification. I could just go lucky. I don't actually know what this does, but I, I like the luck builds, you know? What else do we have before we do that? Let's, let's find a nice four, plus four to do there. It needs to eat less regularly. Less likely spotted by zombies. It makes less noise when moving. Now that could be useful. First aid, gardener, brave. Um, okay. Out of all of this that I have the option to currently get, I think I just want to get lucky. Maybe that'll help. All right, so let's go next. We can make a character. Um, let's go ahead and make a guy. And is there a randomize button? I just like randomize them. Here we go. Let's just. Joshua Springer, male. Um, don't really care about that right now. Who cuts fine? Beard. Move your hand so I can see that, sir. Uh, let's make it more of a brown hair. That really didn't change anything, did it? Yeah, I'm not seeing a uh, change there much at all. Yeah, we'll just go with this. Just a normal guy who just got into a zombie area. Okay. 25 minutes in, and we are just now starting the real game. Also, I don't know if there's anything down in this corner in the bottom right. I don't remember offhand. But, uh, we'll see. All right. First of all, I'll hit pause while I'm reading this. So this is the Zomboid Survival Guide. So the basics, you know, move, do stuff. Uh, don't run unless necessary, of course. Combat. I think it was, um... 
was it space that pushes them away? Try that. But I think anything else matters too much. Okay. For now, we'll close out of this. Looks like we're doing okay. What does training materials do? Okay. All right, so let me just, if I hit this and hit space. Okay, that does shove, excellent. So, frankly, we're in a little area here. That's neat. There's gotta be a way to like shortcut open this, doesn't there? Crossword magazine, press relief, double holster. I will go ahead and uh, wear that. I'm actually not sure what's useful. I'm just gonna take this crossword puzzle because we can stave off some boredom with that at some point. I don't care about cigarettes. Oh, aviator glasses? Yes, please. Paper clips. It says they're a material. Let's go ahead and grab those. You never know what you can do with a paper clip. Um, red pen, sheet of paper, newspaper. I think I can use pens and stuff for like making maps. So if I get like a map, I can draw on the map with a pen, right? Here, anything this water cooler. I wish I was not an easy way. I wish I could like scroll wheel and go through these, right? Or like even close and open this thing up easier. Looking loot all. Oh, there is. Is there a loot all? Loot all, yeah. Fancy. Okay. Oops, I just ran. That was not bad. We need to find a weapon first. Another double holster, another normal holster. Can I wear that as well? Oh, a lighter, we will go ahead and definitely grab that. Uh, used and improved stuff, I'm gonna grab all of that. A toothbrush, can't use that. I don't know if I can use holsters for anything else, but we'll take them for now. Let's see. Another lighter, we'll grab that. Magazine, sure, matches, yep. Blue pen, I'll grab that. What else we got in this one? Foundation makeup. Okay, well that's not too much. Let's uh... I am... I keep hitting escape to like close stuff. Okay, so this goes outside. Am I in a pool? I don't think I want to go out there in the hall yet. Um... Let's head into this room. It looks like it's a fairly shut room. I don't see anything in here that I can loot, though. All right. Check the bottom left corner here, then we'll go up to that one. Oh, this is a reception desk. Oops. Oh, that was bad. don't have anything in them. But I can just left click on stuff to open it, right? If we get close enough. Yeah. Or how about this desk in the filing cabinet? What have we got in here? A ported disc. You could have this primary or secondary to operate. What do I do with it? Oh, I can just play music. Okay. Well, I didn't really need that. Uh, more paper clips. I'll take those. Why not? Oh. Don't have a weapon yet, which is not ideal. Die! Okay, there we go. What do you got? Denim shirt, bloody, red underpants, ring, bra... I don't know if you got a blah on, bra on there. Um, yeah, I think I'll just <clears throat> take some of your stuff because I think you can rip stuff up. Um, and I can get cloth from that. Oh, hello there, lady. Okay, what does she have on her? Uh, baggy jeans, we'll take that. Hey, a watch. Uh, where? 
left wrist, whatever. Now we can tell the time. That's always a thing that people need. Anytime seeing people play, they're like, gotta get that watch, gotta get the watch. Can I, how do I close this? Like without, it takes up so much of my, okay, that goes outside. I don't wanna go outside yet. That goes outside. Well, those aren't doors, I guess. Those are windows, but. We search down there with reception. Michael was just bashing his head against it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's wash all our clothing real quick. I think they're banging on the door there, so that's not great. Occupied. We gotta take some time to wash everything, huh? Probably shouldn't do this. Let's do that finished and then... Can I drink? Okay. Ah, fuck, I think I just got bit. Die, sir. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, close the door. And then I don't have any bandages right now, so let's take the socks, uh, rip clothing, one. And then I think I can bandage myself with the ripped sheets, right? Just a hand wound. It's it's not not bad. Okay. Go ahead and loot this guy. Um. No, don't grab the corpse. Wanna? There we go. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll take all your stuff. Come here, sir. Okay, I'm overweight now. That's unfortunate. But we can go through our stuff here real quick. And, uh... Let's see. So he had a denim shirt, right? That might offer a little more protection. Uh, I want the... No. I want the sink. Wash the... Denim shirt. We're also going to wash the leather jacket, put that stuff on, give ourselves a little more protection here. Uh, wash the leather jacket. Hmm. Can't dry it yet, though. That's unfortunate. Um... Anything else that I want to put on right now? I have shoes on, right? Look at my uh, protection here. Is there a way to see what you're wearing? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I guess for now, let's just go ahead and... Uh... Can I not rip these up? Rip clothing. This is the long sleeve t shirt. Rip that up. I'll make some extra just so I have them here. I already have jeans. I can't rip those. Can't rip that. Dirty rag. Oh, that's not great. I might have to wash those quick. Generic pants. Okay, I can rip those. We'll go ahead and do that. Sneakers, socks. Go ahead and rip that. It does tell me what I have here, right? So tank top and let's just turn them all because I think that's all the tank tops that are going to be turned into. Oh, it's not doing all of them. And what's the difference there?
I got a whole serpent up here. Does this decrease my weight? It looks like it does. Okay. This is the stuff I'm currently wearing right here. I, I just ripped up my own clothing. <laughs> Great. Love to see it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, at least we have some shirts and stuff, huh? Uh, clean rag. All. Mm. I bet some people saw that and were like, God damn it. What, what is this idiot doing? How are we looking on our wound? Dirty bandage. Remove it and we'll replace it with a new one. Rip sheets. Maybe it's just dirty because of the blood. I don't know. Okay. My inventory. I wonder if I have to do anything to make that, uh... Can I wash the dirty, uh... Yeah, I can clean the dirty rag. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to drop the double holsters. The jeans I'm going to drop. I don't need them. We're just going to go over stuff real quick. This is not a, an ideal um, thing here. Right now. What sneakers I'm dropping. How do these shoes compare to mine? I guess they're the same. I can't really tell. Is there a way to like just check what you're like what what you have? I don't need to blur a bra, that's for sure. I could wear it, I guess, just to have some fucking shirt protection at the moment. Because apparently I'm an idiot and was like, yeah, I'll just wash all this shit. Drop these wet, bloody jeans. Okay. Let, let's get out of here. I think I've wasted enough time just doing nothing. Open this fucking door. Okay. Police officer there. If I can get that vest from him, that'd be helpful. But I think that there were a few of them out there. Yeah, we're gonna go back. Let's close that real quick. Oh, are we in a jail? That makes a lot more sense. Okay. What do we got in here? Irrigation room? Okay. Yeah, I really should not have uh, gotten my solitary confinement. It must be. Room here. There's nothing to like loot in these, right? Okay. I think that door just went down. Yep. Get on the ground. Oh, I just think that that's not great. Nope. Nope. Hey, stop. I do like how we spent like five minutes in the bathroom um, screwing around and then we just uh, <laughs> just died as soon as we left the damn room. Uh, what else did we have here? We need less sleep. There we go. All right, let's let's roll this again. Let's be a Bruce Robert this time. Why not? <laughs> okay, well, we're not in a jail at least, so that looks uh, a little bit better. Um, is there any reason I shouldn't just equip in both hands here? Can opener I know is huge. Um, empty bowl is also great. Teacup is good. Anything that can hold water uh, is going to be good for us. Ooh, a nice amount of canned goods. Can't I, like, select this stuff and then just go... Yeah, or I could just hit take all. 
Anything in the microwave? Nope. Got a baking tray, a dish towel, which I might take. And then can I rip that up? I'm gonna close that, please. A dish towel. I cannot do what I wanted there. Um, We have an empty kettle, which I think could hold water. A cooking pot, definitely. I don't think I need anything else from here. Let's head to the, uh, the sink real quick. We can also access the fridge and stuff. So these are frozen. Okay. I thought it said fish. I was like, processed cheese is fish? What do you mean? Uh, aluminum and chocolate. I will take the chocolate. The yeast, I don't think I need right now. Okay. So let's um, just fill everything that we have with water. Which is going to make me overweight, but that's fine. At least we got some kitchen knives. I guess they're, they're, they're better knives or kitchen knives. I forget. Whatever. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> Go smash window, walk to ground, whatever. What do we have on us right now? A lot of food. We need to find a backpack. That'd be great. Um. Yeah, we got bread knives, which are not going to do, like, anything against people, but that's fine. How do I close this without, like... Hairspray, mirror, plunger, a sewing kit. That could be useful. I'd like to uh, grab that. I don't know if I need soap. How do I close that without, like... I don't know. Anyway. Moving into the rest of the house here. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, we actually have some uh, some better clothing here. Looks like these do the same amount of protection. I'm gonna get the the normal jeans. We're gonna wear these. Uh, let's see, short sleeve shirt, small bandana. Let's go ahead and wear that. Sports shorts. Don't care. <clears throat> Did I? You know, that's not exactly where I thought I was gonna put that bandana. But, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and wear that. Um, it looks like the V-neck sweater might actually be better. Let's wear that instead. Can I put the short sleeve shirt on over that too? Man, getting nice and bundled up here. What's wrong? Oh yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, can I rip up any of these? Rip them all up. Perfect. We do have a lot of weight now, though. Problem. What about the other uh, container? Nothing. Okay. Um. Move that down here a little bit. Temperature. A little warm here, but not too bad. We can just, like, choose to exercise and do stuff, right? Okay. Um, that's just L for, uh, that's construction, which we don't really have. Wait, am I, why do I have minor damage? Is it because I'm overweight carrying stuff? Okay. For now, maybe I put the canned food and stuff back into one of these. Let's just put it all back because it's it's what's weighing us down the most, I think, here. Actually, maybe the water is. Um, especially the stuff that's like a pot of water, like a cooking pot of water. Um... I'm just going to rip all this spare clothing I have as well. Get that down a little here. Oh, let's go ahead and rip that. How much is this way? Nine, okay. 
I don't even know what a tumbler is. Go ahead and put that in there. Well, I have some thread. I have shorts, which I can rip up as well here. Dirty rag. Clean. All the rags clean. I've got a bowl of water as well. Um, oh, I used the bowl of water to... Uh, that okay that's fine so i think as long as i remember that this place has food and water staved up in it i think we'll be fine um anything else it's like picking up a lot right now not really we're, i think we're doing good for right now let's go out here and we will Lower the rest of this area. Okay. Zoom out. Looks like we're in a... There's a burnt out trailer park there. Yeah, we're in a trailer park of some sort. Okay. We have a road heading up that way. Heading down that way. Kind of like a little picnic area there. Guess let's just head over to this house right here next to us. Oh. Gotta take her. Sure. I don't know why I'm Get on the ground. Lady, on the ground. She does not want to fall over. Okay, there she goes. God dang. What you got? You got any uh, watch on you? No? This leather jacket, uh, it can, it'll come in handy for some, uh, support for us. I guess I could crouch and hide a little bit here. Ah, damn. Are any of these open? Well, that's not open. What about this one? I'm just gonna try this one. If this one's not open, then we're just gonna... Nope, okay. Zombies over there. What about these trash cans? We got a garbage bag. I think the garbage bag can be used to carry stuff and for other things as well. We're gonna take those. Oh, saw me. I was hoping I could just. There we go. I was hoping I could uh take him out without him seeing me, but it looks like that is not gonna be the case. There we go. Let's take him out. Come on. There we go. All right. Don't think anyone's coming up on us right now. Hey. We got a watch. Excellent. Don't think anything else there is going to matter for us right now. What about this guy? Military boots. Oh, yeah, we're putting those things on right now. Okay. Does that mean thing I'm thirsty? Yeah. Of course I'm thirsty. All right, let's head over. Uh, we'll loot this house. Hopefully get something to drink here. Another garbage bag. I'll take it. I think I can actually carry one in my hand. Hmm. I open this window. Oh, man. Okay. This person's dead. Great. Uh, an empty bottle. I can use that for water. Nice. A letter opener. Pretty damaged. Oh, it does little damage is what that thing says. Another watch? Hell yeah. Why not put that on my right leg? <laughs> I'm not going to. I think that takes yep, a little bit of encumbrance there, so we're not going to deal with that. Um, Everything else, I think I have better or equal stuff. But we're just going to not deal with that. What's this got over here? Comic books, farming volumes, forging. Foraging, not forging. Might as well take them. 
Doesn't hurt. I moved out of the range of it. And the books and stuff are just for stress relief and boredom. Looks like a normal book is actually... Well, I just want one. Make one book there. I keep hitting escape to... Stuff. Okay. What do you got in here? Razor, which is junk. Sewing kit, I'll grab that. Um, nothing else I can really use right now. I don't know if soap is good. Let's clear this bedroom as well before we call it safe. All right, what do we got in here? Crossword magazine, a pen, a blue pen. I will grab that pen right now. Okay. And let's search the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna grab this bowl. I'm gonna grab another bread knife. Attach. Why not? We got some other stuff here. I can probably try to consolidate things into one house in terms of food anyway. We're gonna be a little overweight, but well, that's just kind of how things are. Oops. Darn it. I don't know how like the people I watch are able to like loot so quickly. When they do stuff. It's it's insane. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's just make sure. Yep, okay. So I'm going to uh, drink to get rid of that. It looks like I'm also a little bit peckish. So I think I can eat. Um... I think I can use the microwave, right? Gotta put stuff into it first, right? Uh, microwave. What we got for food? And now if I turn it on, will it cook? Dangerously undercooked. So I can see the freezing going down on it. Now the cooking's going up. Oh man, that's taking a while. Can I, like, partially cook it? Like, just wait until, like, a little bit and then take it out and throw it in somewhere else? Hmm. I'm just carrying so much weight, I don't want to try to cross without doing something. Um, let's equip that as secondary. And then... How's that looking? Oh, we suck at time. Okay. Well, I think I can take, like, the canned goods and put them into the garbage bag, which will help reduce my carry weight, right? I just do like this. Yeah, it reduces it a little bit, but not a whole lot. Fortunate. What else am I carrying? It's like, so much weight. It's just every little thing adds up, huh? I guess I'll just put everything in there. Wait, no, I think I'm actually holding on to that bread knife, so it's not put in there. Okay, check that out. Now I can eat that pork chop. Um, let's eat a fourth of it. Because I'm only a little peckish, right? I definitely think the zombies heard that uh, microwave beeping. Die. 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 
Let's see if I can sneak over to here. And nope. That's not great. A lot more zombies showed up. I can't open that window. Okay. Well. We're definitely trying to get in. Is there a window back here? No. So it's either the door or the window. Okay. Gonna try to hightail it over to here real quick. See if I can maybe lose the zombies. I'm unpleasantly hot. That's not ideal. Nope. Open or close the door before I even. Alright, so let's open up our container here. Um, garbage bag. I'm gonna open up the. Freezer. I'm gonna put all the food that I have in there. Then where's my other loot hat? Here. Empty bowl can go in there. Um these sneakers. I think I'll just drop the sneakers to be honest. Oh, does the sewing kit have stuff in it? Okay. I don't know what that is. Um, what else do I have on me right now? Got a pork chop. I got that. I got this empty bottle, which I think I'll fill up the empty bottle here. Okay. And I probably also want to ignore that smashing, which is probably going to get me killed. Where was... Huh? I have a leather jacket, right? Oh, it's not in my actual inventory, so I can't wash it. Is that... Yeah, there we go. Let's wash this leather jacket so it's not bloody. And I think we're going to have to try to make our way out of here. Okay. Yeah, we probably do not want to want to stay here any longer. Um, we do have this place so we can come back to it. How many zombies are outside the door here? None. Perfect. on the ground, sir. Come on, time to die. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Yep, I'm dead. I, I'm so dead. We need to definitely, like, I need to worry less about food and just looting shit. See, I'm too much of a looter. That's the problem. Okay, we're gonna go again. Same stats. One time lucky will pay off for us, right? One time. Benjamin Gorman. Yeah, let's go with him. Why not? Oh! Ah! Ah, jeez. Um, hey, friends. Oh, fuck, the door's locked. Why is the door locked? Well, I think Benjamin Gorman. <laughs> he, he was ill-prepared. We go again. Maybe instead of getting unlucky, I should get something else, huh? Or lucky. Um, Santos Pierre. Okay. Shit. What? what? Is this the same house? Fuck. I think that's literally the same house I was just in. 
this is bad. Okay. Let's try to go through the trees. Um, that's not gonna that's not gonna help. Going right back into the zombies. I wanna go into a house to loot stuff, but I think if I do, zombies are just gonna these fucking doors are locked. Okay. This is not ideal. We are uh unequipped or yeah, we're not unequipped, unarmed. And uh it's night, which is not ideal. I think we're gonna die a few more times, perhaps, before we uh manage to do anything. Okay. You need to do that. Okay, they're still coming at me. Can I get in the church? Fuck you door. Can I open this window? Nope. Oh, he's mad at me too. Well, this is uh, a very ominous place to be right now. So I'm panicked and unpleasantly hot. Of course I am. I've been running like a motherfucker right now. Okay. Do I have anything on me? I have a key ring, which means I might like be able to open up like the house I was in. Maybe a car. I don't know. Show me like anything in there. Oh, it's just a key ring. Okay, so it's it's just if I find keys, those are where they would go. We got a couple of guys following us there. I might be able to lose them if I keep heading this way. I have no idea what the layout of this map is. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get away from zombies at the moment. There's two of them there. I can lose them in the trees, so let's go through here. The problem is I won't really be able to see what's coming in front of me, so we're going to want to slow down a little bit. If I, if I hit like the speed up stuff. Okay, I can't use those if I'm still controlling stuff. This is that river I've been hearing about, huh? Okay. Man, I cannot see anything, and I think you guys can see even less. If I go to uh this, where is the like brightness? So surely there's got to be like a brightness setting, right? Uh, brightness, brightness, brightness. Lighting quality, lighting updates. Visibility. No, I guess I can't change the lighting for y'all. So yeah, just uh, the only thing I can really make out right now is that there's a blue water above me. And then there's some trees down here. I think we'll just kind of follow along the river for right now. I am moist. Why am I moist? Is it raining? I can't even fucking see anywhere. Huh. We're balding and now zombie apocalypse. Damn. Honestly, don't know if I should be following the river this way or if I should try to go somewhere else, but let's pick up the pace and run a little bit. Hmm? Suppose we could just like exercise here at the bank of the river to try and level up our strength and stuff just throughout the night. Or I could even try to sleep. I guess I'm getting too close to the river, and that's why I'm getting moist. The good news is I haven't seen any zombies yet. Hmm. We should see here. Why does this guy not carry a map with him wherever he goes? Like, come on. Now we're getting hot because we're running and doing exercise. And now I'm thirsty. Can I like, interact with water? I can. But tainted water, unsafe for drinking. Sterilized by boiling it. Definitely should find something. 
We need to find some sort of building here. Maybe I should cut back through the forest and see if I can find anything. Because I'm not sure that the... Uh... Well, the forest is kind of thinning out here, isn't it? Nope, no it's not. That's a very wide river. The good news is, even though I just heard like a howl, I don't think there's actually like wolves and stuff. Uh, come through the uh, forest here. I think that's a trail. I don't know if you guys can see it. God damn, just kind of where my mouse is at. It's like a trail, it looks like, right here. Still don't see anything, but I think if we're, at least if we follow a trail, it should lead us somewhere, right? And I would love for it to be day. If daytime lasts an hour, does that mean that nighttime also lasts an hour, or does nighttime last like 45, 30 minutes? <gasps> I think I see a structure right there. At least a parking lot or a bigger road. Oh, maybe there's a fence? No, let's see if we can get to this white whatever it is. Just that. Oh, I see some zombies down there. Is this place like a farm of some sort? What are these guys? They look like, yeah, farmers. There should be a farmhouse around here somewhere, huh? Let's head this way. If we follow a road, we should eventually run into something, right? Even if it's the edge of the map. But, uh, that's still something, right? Good news is the zombies... I'm gonna hit Q by accident one of these times, and it's not gonna be great. Oh, shit. That's three of them? Oh, fuck. Can I avoid them? Nope. There's a car. I don't think I can really do anything here with the car, though. Oh, hey, buddy. Woo, that was close. <clears throat> okay, I think what we can do is kind of, like, cut into the forest. House is over there. Okay, let's go left. It's a denser forest. We can run through here. And then we'll be able to lose them. I just start walking, going north. But the zombie should have a hard time getting through there as well. Now that I've left them in the dust there, I can try and walk some more. Maybe I can get into that building. Please be open. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I think it's just like a little shack. This is perfect. This is just what we needed. Okay. An empty mug. Don't care. What else we got for loot here? A hammer. I will take that. Uh, grab it. Planks, wood glue, a box of nails. <gasps> Crowbars. There we go. I'm gonna grab all of them. Then I think I can use the saw for stuff as well. I'm just gonna grab all the tools and stuff that we can possibly grab here. Interesting that they have that stuff here. Um, screwdriver, let's go ahead and grab that. Electrical wire I don't need right now. Uh, damn, I'm getting a lot of stuff. We got metal pipes, metal bars, we got a propane torch. God damn. I'm just gonna take all of this. Now, we are overweight at this point, but I think we can get around that by putting some stuff into our belt. So if I were to attach that there, and then if I get my hammer, put it in my right belt, that'll do that. 
And then let's go ahead and get our crowbar. We'll crowbar it up here, so to speak. Oops, wrong button again. I don't think there's anything else here um, <clears throat> that we can really take. What I might do is, how do I, can I sit on the ground? Then if I do this again, can I, how do I sleep? I can just sleep on the ground, right? Okay, I got a map. I didn't realize I had a fucking map. What the hell? Can I just, like, draw on this? I need a blue pen, red pen, pencil, pen. Okay. Interesting. Um. I can do carpentry. Can I investigate this area? Hold on. Project Zomboid, how to sleep on the floor. Can you sleep on the ground? Oh, but you have to reach the maximum level of sleepiness. Okay, so I, I can't just sleep then. What is this? What is that icon for? Oh. I think time is passing. I wish I had a book or something. Looks like it's getting brighter out. Getting bored. Fuck, I could have been exercising this whole time. Well, we do need to conserve our our strength, I guess, huh? So, our calories and all that. Alright, so. Can I open this? No. Is there a window? No. Okay. Where's our next stop then? Because we're gonna go to that house there. Because we need to get some uh, food and water if we're gonna last much longer here as old. I forgot his name. Santos Pierre. Okay, please be unlocked. Of course not. Why would you be? Check some windows. Okay. What about this window? Don't see any zombies around. Let's try and smash the window. Remove the glass. Now let's go ahead and climb through the window. Also clean up this glass, please. I don't like the sound that it makes. Of course I'm fucking bleeding. Why the fuck would I not be bleeding? Oh my god. Well, that was just completely my mistake there. Um, I need to find something that I can use as a bandage. And of course, there's nothing in this place, so... Um... Oh, fuck, hold on. Stop. Remove the glass. Yeah, I just bandaged that with glass in my hands. I, hmm. <clears throat> and if I die because of that, <laughs> you upset. Okay. Um. Can I eat a fourth of this line? Eat another flower. We'll just eat it all. 
he will give me food and water. So that's excellent. Um, what else we got? Empty bowl. We had some mixed vegetables, a meat patty. Which way is less? Okay. I'm going to take the tumbler. I'm going to fill it up. And I'm going to drink from this. Get rid of that. And, uh, of course, I'm peckish now. So let me grab... I think we had meat patty here. I'm going to go over here to the stove. Put the meat patty in there. Turn the stove on. And we can watch the... thing is it heats up yeah it's unfreezing it and whatnot you know i might as well come over here grab the mixed vegetables too since we're just waiting you can throw these in here and have them both cook at the same time okay whilst those are cooking i was sort of in a panic here i didn't have much time to do anything else um I really don't think there's anything else in this house other than this little door here. Which just has pants. We're gonna rip those. Okay, this this house has just jack shit in it. Hold on. Fresh, uncooked, fresh. Okay, we can take these now. I'm just going to eat these mixed vegetables. I'll just eat them all. And then we'll slowly wait for this to cook. What's this one? Well fed. Excellent. Yeah, I wouldn't have made the stupid mistake of bashing in the window and trying to pick up the damn glass. Like an idiot. Like an idiot, I might add. There we go. All right. We have some food. I'm going to get rid of this uh, broken glass. Um, we're just underway, so we really need to find a backpack. All right, let's go ahead and climb back out. Love to see a nice, bright day out here. We can head to the car, see if it's running. Uh, judging by the front end of it, I'm going to say no. Like it hits something, but don't know what. We can at least get in and check the glove box and stuff, though. Um, vehicle mechanics? No. I just want to get in. How do I get in? Can I not get in the vehicles? Is that a mod? No, because there's driving. So confused. Let's can take a look at it though. Oh, it looks like the engine is just completely foobar. How's the fuel? It has some gas in it, but yeah, the engine's just shot. Um, smash windshield. I want to smash. Do I have to like stand up? I don't know how to get into the car. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay, so that's locked. Do I have to like... Hmm. Why can't I end the car? Odd. Maybe the doors are locked and I have to, like, actually find keys for it or something? I just saw the door shake. Oh, it's fucking locked. Alright, let's test this window. Yep. We're out. It's gonna lure some boys over. I'm gonna get back into this house, which I gotta have to go through this window. 
Okay. I'm just gonna crouch down real quick. Check my uh, stuff here. I'm gonna remove the bandage, see if I can remove the glass from my fucking hand. Remove the glass. This is infected. That's not ideal. Okay. We're gonna uh, bandage it back up. Okay, so now hopefully I'll have a little less pain there in the future. Let's go ahead and rinse the rags. Clean rag. While I'm here, might as well drink a little as well. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I keep hitting escape to close stuff. Can I open the door from here? Yes, I can. Not sure, did any zombies like. Yep, the zombies did approach it. A lot of zombies did approach it. Well, well I say a lot, but there's one, two, three, four. Oh! That's what I get for screwing around. Hey, buddy, you gotta watch. I said, buddy, you gotta watch. You do not. Damn. Oh, hey, lady. How about you? You gotta watch. deal. I'll, I'll try to kill a couple more, but I might have to skedaddle. Yep, I gotta skedaddle. Dang. Alright, well that was a nice place. We, we got a good amount of tools and stuff, which was really nice for us. Um, I have a map, right? Yeah. It sucks. Okay. I don't think there's anything else up this way, but let's go check it out. What is my uh, thing here? Unpleasantly hot. Great. Let's open up our uh, inventory. No, I want to drag this down. I just did something. What did I do? I dropped a fucking hammer. Okay, perfect. I'm going to take off long sleeve t-shirt. We're just gonna unequip that. Okay. Oh, but now I'm overweight, of course. So let's let's unequip the wet tank top and then put this one back on. Does that help? No, I'm still uh, a little bit wet. Well <clears throat> um I don't think being I don't think being this overweight is going to cause any issues. So let's just continue onward. How is my crowbar looking though? Not the best condition at the moment. Okay, so we're just still heading on up here. You can see the areas that I've died in. That's crazy, okay. Yeah, we got a lot of room. We can keep going north here. I think the road also goes kind of up north here. So I think if we continue this way and then cut across in just a moment. Oh, fuck. Well, if that's just one zombie, I think we take him out. He could have a watch or something else useful on him. Hey, answer yourself, sir. I am so inefficient or inefficient at killing people. Uh, he got a magazine. Nice. We'll take that. Uh, not ideal, though. Yeah. Nice. So we got a backpack. Also, my hand is infected, which is less than ideal. I don't know if that means I'm infected from, like, zombie or if it's, like, infected, like, uh, a normal thing is infected. Let's take a look down 
here. I see a uh, looks like farmland right there. Let's go down here. Some sort of bot or something there. Nice open land though. Excuse me, trees. Where's my mouse? There it is. That's a big field. Okay, I'm gonna try and approach the field here. We got some farmers down there. A couple over there. They crouch down. Let's open up the map. See if it gives me any insight on stuff. So it looks like the road's over that way. So I think if we head north, or I guess northwest, wherever it is further, we should see a farmhouse, perhaps? We shall see. We got a guy over there. We got a crowd over there. Shit. I just saw another one down there too. No? Okay. Why don't we go say hi to this guy? And then I'll try to keep going to the left. Oh, perfect. One, one knockdown. Right away. What I like to see. And of course he doesn't have any uh watch on him. I'm gonna come over to these trees here. Nice little house here. Let's try let's try to sneak across this street. Get the house. I think he might be coming for us. Let's, uh... Yeah, I think he's definitely coming for us. Yeah, I wanted him to get closer to me over here so I could bash him in. No, don't bite me, you prick. Not remove bandages. Stop, 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 stop. Fuck. Okay, well, that's less than ideal. Um... Okay, you get back. I need you to just... Why, do, why did you turn around like that, sir? Okay, they're just eating me alive now. No, this one's head, please. Yep. Okay, um... Let's bandage up real quick, because we are about to die. Lady, I need you to not. Come on. Okay. Please? We were doing so good. For the most part. Okay. Just in the nick of time, we survived. We gotta watch. We can at least tell what time it is now. But I do have terminal fucking damage. Critical injuries. Uh, severe pain. I'm just gonna, gonna pause real quick. I can see what's happening. So, <clears throat> not going gently into that good night. We have pain. We have overweightness. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Okay. So, let's see if these guys have anything that I can use to uh, hopefully not die. Um, Credit card. I could buy some stuff with that. <laughs> it's only right. Okay. Let's creep to this house, see if maybe they have some medicine or something. Um, that would be great. Terminal damage means I'm going to die, right? Okay. 
if I can get into this little shack first. No. What if I... Excellent. Through the window. Okay. What do we got here? A hard hat. Uh, we're going to wear that immediately. Thank you. And uh, metal pipes, stuff like that. Okay, well... Didn't mean to close it. Whatever. Uh, we need to eat something real quick. Let's go ahead and eat half of this meat patty. And then we'll drink from our tumbler as well. Didn't it say it automatically drinks from... Oh, I guess... Can I not drink from this? Hmm. Maybe I can't drink from it yet. Okay, let's go ahead and climb through. No, I'm, I'm hitting E to climb out of it, sir. Not to close it. All right, let's get into this house. See if we can find anything to, uh... Okay. We're not permanently damaged now, which is nice. So I'm gonna really quick... Um, close the window. Okay. Now let's clear this house. We can be sure we're safe for right now. I don't think that's a zombie, which is great. He had a watch on him, too. And an empty bottle! Let's go ahead and take that. That way we can fill it with water and hopefully uh, drink from it. Huh? There's a radio. Oh, there was a door right there, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. What is that? Is that inside this room? Yeah, okay. Pencil. You know what? I'll take it. I can use it to draw on the map. Oh, right over here. I think there's a little closet. What do we got? A saw. Getting a lot of saws. I think that's the third one I've seen so far. One of these is going to be a bathroom. Do you have any... Of course you don't have any medical supplies. Why would you have that? But I can at least go ahead and fill up the... Uh, empty bottle. Then I can clean the rags that were dirty. Um, I will drink from it again. Severe injury. All right. What about in here? Nothing. Perfect. Okay. So we have a, a belt which we've already gotten. Uh, a fanny pack. Perfect. Hold on. Uh, let's go ahead and wear on front. Excellent. Now we have a fanny pack. I think we can carry a little more. So I'm going to put this magazine in there. And so it can go in there. Apparently I can't. Never mind. Oh, there we go. Never mind. It worked. I have to take a moment. Um, let's throw some thread in there. I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna drop this tumbler. It's not really helping me yet right now. Sandals, a skirt, stockings, uh, belt pants, yada yada. All right, we're still overweight a little bit. Did 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 my total weight go down? It was twelve before. I guess because I'm injured. Hmm. Can I put the hammer in there? No. Bottle? No. Uh, what else is like no weight at all? Sheets? like it. Excellent. I'm sure that's all I can fit in there. Alright, well, let's just check the kitchen out then. We uh, kind of just walked past it as we were trying to secure the area. Alright, we got pancake mix. We've got peanut butter. We got a pop. Canned food. Great. If I still had that can opener here, you know. Um, we have a rolling pin, which is a decent weapon. We didn't have a crowbar right now. There's some other stuff here. Yeah, so we don't have any medical supplies, which is uh, what's what's unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's not looking too good for us, huh? Let's open up our map. Okay, so we're up here now. Is that the only house around here? Shit. Yeah. 
Let's add a note. As food. That door. I don't know how they got in. Shit, I, I can't. I have to leave. If I go out that way, they're, uh, they're just gonna bite my butt. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to go further this way, I guess. What we really need right now is some sort of disinfectant, maybe? Some, uh, medical supplies? But I don't think we're doing too hot on that department right now. Fighting them actually hurts me. Not ideal. Not everything I need. Okay, let's just keep walking. Hopefully we can um, avoid... Getting into too many fights here. I could go into the forest, but I don't know how helpful that would be. And then I wouldn't be able to see anything up above. If we can find another house, we can switch out our bandages, which would be helpful. He saw me. We're going to have to take him out. Lady, I'm trying to hit your head. There we go. Um, again, nothing too useful on her. Ah, shit. Speaking of not useful. Come on. Did that one die? Or was that just a loud crunch from hitting him? Please die. At least fucking go on the ground, my guy. There we go. Jesus. Okay. Ow. I thought I heard another one make noise. Uh, nothing on him. Nothing on him. Nothing on him. Great. It's getting late, too. Another one up there. I have much luck now. Go. Okay. You have anything on you? No. You have a pen, but that's about it. Okay. I can avoid that guy. Do what we can do. Speed and accuracy reduced. Under taking off clothing. Why am I still hot? Okay. That's all just nonsense. Oh, there's a house down there. Perfect. I would have. I guess I would have saw it as I moved over this way, huh? The only question is, is there going to be a bunch of people out front? Hmm. Also, how's my crowbar's condition looking? Still pretty good. Crowbars are nice, solid tools, so... A grill? We got a little bit of a crowd, but I think if we're quiet... We can, uh... Yeah, it's locked. Don't think that guy heard me. Please don't be a bunch of zombies over here. Like it. What about here? Damn, the trunk's locked. Okay. There. Shit. Anyone here? 
didn't hear that. No. Okay. Wait, did you have anything on you? No. Okay. Oh, I can get in this car. Well, if I open up this, I can check in the different areas here. We'll leave it on that. I will take one. Got a magazine paper clip, quarter disc. About it though. Okay. Hello, any zombies home? Hopefully not. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, he's the second floor though. Let's open up these doors, make sure. Okay, a little storage closet. Bathroom. All right, let's check the second floor. Looks like we're getting drowsy. Good thing we found a house. Hopefully there's nothing bad upstairs. Oh, we can actually sleep here. They have a lot of stuff. I should probably zoom in when I'm inside a house, huh? This could make for a nice little staging area right now. Um, depending upon what we're doing here. Is this a door? No. Okay. Let's see. Sweater vest. And that stuff. I'm going to keep crouching down and staying stealthy because I'm not sure how long the uh, stuff travels for. Oh, hell yeah. First aid kit. Take that. Got some bandages, too. Perfect. I'm anxious and on edge. Why? Oh, jeez. Where all the good shit's at, huh? Piece of bandages. Do I hear a zombie downstairs? Vitamins, which provides energy, reduces fatigue, and then more bandages. Take them better than the normal cloths I have now. Battery. Why not? And a light source. Ooh. All right. We're getting really overweight here. An alarm clock. Yeah, I don't need that. Light bulb. Downstairs bathroom, nothing in it. What else we got here? We got a saucepan. Oop. Uh, we got some. Dang, we got a lot of food there. That's nice. Oh, decent stuff here. Am I hungry or anything right now? Nope. That's good. Marinara. Also nice. Um, that's a washing machine with on it. We got some canned goods, some dish towel. Nice. We got some bourbon. Ooh. I was wondering if I could maybe use that to disinfect stuff, but I don't think... Wait, I think that was only half that cabinet, wasn't it? Yeah. Fine glass. Hmm. Okay. I think the last little area to inspect is just down here, next to this uh, thing. We got a book. Do I already have a book? I don't remember. I'm going to take this, though. Very heavy load, that's fine. From that book, too. Alright. 
Let's head to the second floor, where I will rest and eat what I can here. I think I can actually walk normally now. Okay. Where was the... There was a bookcase up here, right? Was it in the other room? Yeah, it was back here. Uh, we had a VSIM tape. I don't worry too much about stuff right now. Okay. And then what was back here? Just, uh, just a song. Okay. I think I'm going to take this bedroom for right now. So let's go ahead and close that door. Um, let's fill the bottle with water. Let's wash all clothing. We'll just kind of clean ourselves off. Get ourselves looking good. Eat. And then we'll uh, bandage our wounds and go to bed. That'll be the plan. End this night. Or Santos Pierre. If only he had someone who wasn't me. Uh, piloting his body. We should be relatively safe on the second floor with uh, the front door, the back door, and then we have this door here kind of protecting us so we can definitely get what we need here. Go a little bit light out. Okay, everything's been cleaned. Um, let's go ahead and wash ourselves. Which is apparently going to take a little bit. That's fine. I am uh, really hesitant to take these things off. Oh fuck, I got head damage. I think only the neck can get you infected like that. So, why am I anxious? Nothing else I can do here. Okay. Alright, let us... I think I have... Eat half of a meat patty, please, which should run us down to one, right? Yep. Okay, so we're no longer hungry. But nice and good. Um... We have stuff to rebandage ourselves, so we'll take these out. Um, let's go ahead and use just a normal bandage for that. Again, I don't like where it says infected. We'll see what happens. Laceration, yada yada. Let's go ahead and use the adhesive bandages. Laceration and bleeding. Yep, adhesive bandage that up. Real quick. Nope, that's infected too. I just put a dirty rag on there. Great, I thought I had more bandages than that. Let's clean all these rags. We'll remove it again. There we go, okay. Let's go ahead and, I don't know again why I'm filling the thing with water here. Oh, a hard hat. How did that get bloody? I guess because I didn't take it off when I was killing myself. Two water and the soap lower. And I guess we'll fill the bottle with water. Yeah, hold on. It, it's, it's full, yeah? What is... What, 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 is, what, is, what is this? First aid kit. Because it has stuff in it, yeah. Is there a way for me to get that stuff? Like, if I equipped as primary. Like this. Okay, so I do have bandages. Huh. Well, anyway. Uh, equip in both hands. So does our flashlight here. We have batteries, that's fine. Can I put this battery in my uh, fanny pack? I can. What about the torch? Can I put the torch in there? No. Not so excellent. Okay, so I think 
we are a little bit drowsy. We're getting kind of bored. So since we're just a little drowsy, I don't think it matters too much. Can I? I want to sit on the bed. Can I not? Fine. We'll, uh... Can I? Eh. I want to... I want to sit on the chair. Can I not? Read. Let's read the magazine. I guess I'm standing up while doing it for some reason. I want to alleviate some of the, uh, the boredom and the anxiety. I just clicked over to tired, which is not ideal, but that's fine. Hopefully we can finish this magazine and then... Okay. I think if, I, if I'm anxious, I can use... Do I just use that magazine up? Is that how that works? Hmm. That's not great. If I just, like, look at the chair and hit E... That's just weird. Why is that how that works? Okay, anyway, let, let's sit on the ground. And I'm going to uh, read this book that I have as well. Uh, read that. And hopefully that will uh, kind of reduce our anxiety. I don't even know what anxiety really does. If I click it, does it tell me what it does? It does not. Badly. I'm assuming it's not good. So, although I, I would say a little bit of anxiety helps out, keeps you on your toes, you know? Okay. Now, we can rest up. God, look at this fucking shirt. It's got holes and shit in it. You're going to too much pain to sleep. Oh. That's not great. Can I just disassemble stuff then while I'm waiting? Mm, might as well. Hopefully that doesn't draw in people. I'm not sure how I can reduce pain. Maybe if I get the bourbon from downstairs? Also, these bandages, like, they got... dirty almost instantly. Anything else on me that I could like? Boost of energy reduces fatigue. Unless I can take some vitamins, that'll reduce my tiredness at least, right? All right, well, let's go downstairs. I'm gonna grab that bourbon, see if maybe that has any pain reducing effects on it. Thirst, happiness. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's less than ideal. Um. Bring it now. When do you die? Some two lady, come get some. I like I can sleep anyway. Or maybe that's just a metalhead. I don't know. Oh, I can just hold down the attack button. That's good to know. Stay down, boy. Prick. Yeah, they don't have shit on them, huh? Well. It'd be nice if I could, like, sit on a chair. Oh, 
I better not fucking hurt my hand again. I have tools, right? Um... Whenever I close the curtains, it helps a little bit more, right? What, what are device options? Oh, it's a television. Can I board up the window? I guess I would need carpentry and then... Wall, no. Furniture. Fence. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I have to get better at carpentry in order to do that? I don't know enough about the game yet. Might as well disassemble this wooden chair. If I can't sit in it. Rest. Looks like I can rest. Hmm. If I can rest, that that's great. I guess I'll just like sit down and have a have a sit. I need the severe pain to go away. I'm just not sure how I can fix it. I'm still tired. That didn't help at all. Okay, um, let's head back upstairs. I'm gonna come over here to this thing. I'm just gonna put in stuff that I, uh, don't need right now. So this one, two, I'm gonna put both crowbars in there, but whatever. please. <clears throat> I'd really like to rebandage my wounds. All right. Who's over here smashing shit in my house? Windows are still closed. Did they just smash the window and then walk away? What the fuck? Oh shit! It's so dark I could barely see him. I thought he was outside. He got shit on him. Great. Forgot about that shelf there. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Close the curtains. That way they can't see me moving in here unless I'm near a door or something. What's in here? A light bulb? Hell of anything. I'm just gonna keep working on carpentry for a moment then. No reason to not! Not like I can do anything else with my... Oh! I just have pain! Okay, I'm no longer in extreme pain, which means maybe I was because I was overweight and carrying shit. I don't know. You failed to produce any material. Oh. That's not cool. I have some scrap wood. Mm. That's fine. Anyway, let's head back upstairs. I'll see if I can sleep. Ugh. Um, first let's rebandage my wounds. Maceration and infection. 
Did that just... Okay. Okay, so I'm no longer bleeding. I just got a laceration there, which is great. How's the head? Laceration and infected. Love to see it. Okay. And that gets reduced to pain. Experiencing too much pain. Still too much pain. Okay. Well, in that case, go ahead and clean the rags. I'm going to wash all my clothing. Does it make it wet? I would assume it does, right? Wait, why do I wash things that are already clean? Why does it keep prompting me to fill the bottle of, bottle, bottle of water? Ugh. I don't know what that really does. Okay. So, we're, we're down from extreme pain to less pain, but we're still in pain. Mainly because of the infection, I think. We can't really do anything right now. We're just very tired. So, uh, I think I stashed that tailoring book in here. Can I read it? If I, like, uh, put it on the ground? And we will be level too low. Okay. Should have checked first before I sat down. I don't know why. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just do that. Hmm. There's not much else I can do right now, then. I'm not going to worry about being a little peckish. What else can I tear down? Oops. Because I can take apart this, uh... Wait. Hmm? Hold on. Oh, it's just like an outside there. Okay. I thought it was like a hidden room or something. Close that window. I do have another book if I want to read that, but I'm pretty tired at the moment. Um, can I get back to this chair? This assembled dark wood chair. Might as well level up carpentry while we're just doing nothing but suffering in pain, right? Why are fitness and strength, like, that high already? Failed to produce any usable material. Not even my long blunt is that high. I guess I haven't really been doing much, but still, damn, okay. Okay. I don't know how I reduce pain. Oh, I thought I thought pain went away for a second there. I was gonna be like, oh we did it. I don't know if there's much else I can really take apart at this point. Can't sleep because we're in too much pain, which is stupid. You can sleep when you're in pain. All right, well, I guess, um, I guess what I'll do is I'll kind of face this way. And then we'll sit on the ground. And we'll just fast forward through time. Because, uh, again, I can't really do anything else. I'm queasy. Hmm. Probably because of the infection. I'm ridiculously tired. Yeah, that's about right, though. Okay, can I remove the bandages? And then try to put them back on? The left hand and the lower torso are uh, 
getting getting better because they're not getting dirty at least I'm pretty sure I'm going to die because I think I'm getting infected or sick or something and I'm in too much pain to do anything which I don't understand why I'm in pain I have a couple of bandaged cuts that's about it bald spot oh shit My head is really protected now, though. I guess I could exercise here. Stand up before exercising. You got it. All right, exercise time. We'll just exercise for a couple minutes here. Doesn't look like it's affecting us at all by making us in more pain or anything. That's good. We are getting hot though, which does make sense. Okay, now it's 10 minutes. Really wish I wasn't in pain so I could sleep. Or oh, can I actually sleep now? Hold on. I always do that. Hey, I can sleep now. Yes. Okay. We're awake again. Hell yeah. We're still in pain. Again, not ideal. Uh, let's clean all of our rags and we'll rebandage your wounds again. My um, health thing does not seem to like what it's doing right now, though. Maybe I'm starving. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. But it went away when I rebandaged myself there. I don't know. Okay, let's clean the rags again. And then we will... What's that? Unhappiness goes up by two. Be unhappy then. Okay, we're going to eat half of this meat patty. Hopefully take care of our hunger. We're bored, queasy. Nervous wreck. Classic. Okay, well, I think there was a book over here. So why don't we take this book? I also have a word search. And then we will, uh, can I read the newspaper too? I can, let's take that too. Why not while we're at it, right? Okay. Come to the bedroom. We're just gonna get in the ground. And uh, let's see. What is the least amount? 15. Newspaper. All right, we will read the newspaper. And that'll reduce our boredom, but we're still in pain for whatever reason. And it says to take things easy, which is what I'm gonna be doing. <clears throat> Again, I don't know if me um, having the infection means that it's just going to keep getting worse and worse until I find some antibiotics or something, or uh, what. I'm probably going to die. More than likely. And that's what's going to happen. I mean, I don't think any of us expected me to survive very long with this guy, right? Still agitated as fuck. <sighs> Let's read this then. I think what we're gonna do, since we're getting queasy and sick and all that, we really need to find a, a pharmacy of some sort or something. We're gonna have to go on a journey. 
and uh, attempt to do that. We're probably going to die. It's better than sitting around waiting until we do die. Right? So agitated. What does this map do? Read the map. Bluewoodville. Okay. So we got that and that, right? So, did it mark in this? Oh. Does it say where I'm at right now? I don't think it does, which is not ideal. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can... So, the Ohio River is from the north, right? Are we even in Louisville? I think we're in the other place, right? Like, it starts with an R or something. We're not even, like, looking at the right map here, right? So I just hit M. Has food. Yeah, so there's a river here. I think that's Louisville. Right up there. We are miles away from that. I don't know if there's any more towns over in this area. What's what's down here? That's the trailer park. Yet. I think let's just follow the road north. Out of here. See where it takes us. I'd like to wait until morning, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, what about my fanny pack? Hmm. Anyway, I'm just going to get rid of stuff that I do not need, that we're probably never going to use. I need the saw. I'm not gonna use the tweezers. Um, and why did that get unequipped? We're not gonna need the batteries or the thread. Don't even need the pencil, really. Camp. Okay. Um, book. Not gonna need that. Bottle with water. I'll refill that and we'll use it. I'll keep the screwdriver and hammer for right now because they can be used as backup weapons just in case. We have our ripped sheets, which we're going to reuse here in just a moment. Uh, we don't need a flashlight. Screw it. We're going in normally. And then I'm going to take this and equip this as primary so I can open this up, take the bandages out, and then we will put this in both hands and I can put the medical it down. All right. I think I'll actually use those bandages to uh, bandage these. <coughs> That'll probably be better. Use a bandage. I wonder if there's a reason that I uh, like these are still bandaged. Like, do they go away? Or do I have to, like, remove them myself? Okay. So, we're gonna leave now. Uh, even though I wish we could wait a little bit longer. I thought I could rest before. What does the clock do? I don't understand. Oh. I've exercised fatigue. That's great. Well, while we're here, let's uh, eat what we can. I don't have a can opener for that, so I can't do anything with that. We can eat the jerky, though. Uh, we are feeling sad. A little queasy, getting a little bored. I might just take any food that I can get my hands on real quick. Food or water, I suppose. I think everything else is like... I guess I could take the fresh stuff. 
It won't necessarily rot immediately, right? Right? Anyway. All right. Uh, we're going to drink from this real quick. Fill up the bottle of water again. My bandages are already fucked. That's great. We're in severe pain again. I don't know how or why we're in severe pain again, but we are. Shit. I was gonna hope to see if I could get in this car and take a look, but you know what? Screw it, if we're gonna go out, why don't we go out fighting, huh? So we're back the fuck up. I keep rapidly clicking like it's doing something more than just this. Just die. Stop coming at my ankles, lady. Got them all. Nice. Now then, like I was going to do, hop in the car. Um, no key for this car found. Shit. Well, it's unlocked. What if I? Screwdriver, tarp, toy bag. Actually, I think sometimes the key can be in the ignition, right? Yeah, sometimes. Apparently not this time, though. You know what I think? Why don't we just take a moment? We'll just read from this magazine in the car where we're relatively safe. That way we can get rid of this stressed and maybe feeling a little sad prompt there, right? Okay. That helped out a little bit, I think. I just want to check again. None of these guys have a key on them, right? I know sometimes you can get the key from dead zombies. Nothing there. I think I would have noticed if I would have had one with a key that died or something. What about this white car? Anything in it? No, I think it's too fucked to do anything, but still. Well, let's not do that. I think that hurt me a little more than anything there. Okay. I can't tell if my health is going down or not. Anything in the shack? Can I even open it? Of course not. <laughs> Screw it. We got clothing. We got wire, boxes of screws, we got a dust mask, which we might as well wear. That's about it. All right, let's climb back through. So the, the problem is, if we look at the map, um, we need to go up that way so we can cut across here. I'm going to kill this zombie in hopes that maybe they have the car keys we need. Incidentally, I haven't even checked to see if the car will run. Um, yeah, they don't, though. Damn, they had a lot of piercings, though. All right, let's head through the brush. Find the main road, and we can try and travel along that. Yeah, these infections are not doing us very well. I'm nauseous now, which is not great. I think I just got saw by a zombie, and yep, he's coming over here. I 
I'm just out in the boonies, aren't I? God dang. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly from what I've seen of other people playing the game, when you get infected, this uh, nauseous and sick icon slowly goes up over the course of a couple days. I think you have like seven days or something. It, just, it varies though. Um, so you can die and stuff like that. And once it gets too bad, you'll turn. You can craft a cure, but I have nowhere near the amount of stuff needed to do that. We will just be shit out of luck. At this point, I think we just gotta run. Try to find a place to loot that would possibly have some uh, medicine for us. My guy is shook. Gonna slap hack. I don't know which way we should go here. I'm gonna keep going kind of in the north ish direction here. Got anything in your trunk? Nope. I mean, I think that was actually me opening the trunk, but too many zombies around. It didn't sound like it was locked anyway. Does my fitness and strength not increase? Maybe it is, but it's just a really small amount. I guess it's sprinting and stuff that is going up. Cornfields here. Guys just in pain and nauseous and just booking it. A little bit sad, a little bit stressed. You know what? That's how you survive sometimes. Man. I'm gonna go this way. I wasn't fully zoomed out. Looks like we have a house, some more zombies on the left there. Actually, this just loops back up, don't it? Oh? Is this a dead end? It is a dead end. Ooh. Map. Oh, like a long range up there. Okay. I'm going to loop back this way. I think I saw the road continuing to go north over here. Oh, like on a tree almost. A fence. Which means if we can jump it, we can get away from the zombinos who are behind us. Wander through here. Perfect. We got the start of a path right there. Yes, excellent. Okay. Our uh, exertion is catching up with us. We're going to need to walk for a moment. Surroundings look good. So we got a house there. I think we might get into a more of a populated area here. <clears throat> we can figure out. Houses are closer together anyway. At least these two are. Did it say moderate exertion before or did it say something else? I'm not sure if it went down or up from me just walking. Nauseous, stressed, and we're in pain. I think that just upgraded to a nervous wreck. I'm terrified. 
Why are we terrified? Mm, great. More than nothing. I'm gonna scroll over this way so that way it's better. I just hear a zombie. Car crash ahead. able to catch up to me. That's not great. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Are they catching up to me? They are not. Okay. I think that one just kind of had a little burst of speed there and then screwed off. Oof. Not a whole lot of I thought we were getting to a town or something, but it doesn't look like it. What's that up there? Is that the river? Yeah, that's the river. Shit. Mm -hmm. Zombies still behind me? They are. I don't know, folks. It might be time for me to just take myself out. Maybe I go out in a burst of glory and fight those zombies. Because we, we don't have anything too crazy with us right now, right? We're just uh, doing what we can. Moment. I think our best thing right now is the crowbar and the hard hat, to be honest. Man, the heart icon over here really wants my attention. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Can't tell if we've been losing health or not. You guys still behind me? I think they decided to let me go. They were like, we can't catch this guy. He's too quick on his little two feetsies. Look on the map again. Don't tell me that curves around and just does like a little little dick shape there. Oh, it looks like it does. That's less than helpful. Oh my god, it does. I can see a building there, though. Oh, it does continue on, though. You know what? I don't think we're going to last, folks. I just do not know the area. There is really not a lot that I can do here at this point. I think we're just going to die and try to get a uh, a better spawn location or something, right? Unless we just happen to find some, like, drugs or something in here, that'd be insane. Sterilized wound and aid recovery from infection. Oh, maybe. Uh oh. Um, disinfect alcohol. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oops. Well, just as things were looking up, lady, can you just please die or at least get on the ground? Okay, well. That's not great. Can I disinfect this upper torso? I I'm dead. 
When my health was dropping too fast, I couldn't manage myself up. Lasted a decent amount of time, though. Well, everyone. Ugh. Ooh. That was Project Zomboid. I'm going to end this video here. Uh, since it has been two and a half hours, I was only expecting maybe to go for an hour or so, but I got really into the last run we were doing. So, uh, that kind of happened. Yeah. But, uh, next time when we come back, because I plan on doing a better series of this kind of stuff where we're actually figuring out Project Zomboid, doing our thing, having fun, all that good jazz. Uh, next time, I think what we might do is uh, check out these challenges and see if maybe I want to play a challenge map. We'll just kind of see what happens. But uh, I'll, I'll read through them and see if we're going to do that before we start and go from there. Well, bye for now, everyone. <laughs>